and welcome to Cruising with E-Rider. On today's show, we're going to start off with part three of the Concours de Elegance, held right here in Dayton, Ohio, at Caroline Park. And after that, we're going to go off to Carl's Body Shop, where Bob the Painter is going to explain to us just what UV body materials are, like UV paints and UV primers, and then he's even going to tell us how to maintain that paint job after we get it. So stay tuned for that and more on Cruising with E-Rider. Now Frank, you got a car here, man. Yeah. Tell me about it. Well, it's a 66 Corvette. It's uh, all modified to work on uh, today's fuels and get decent mileage. It's got a five-speed overdrive in it with a big block in it, so it's kind of nostalgic in a way, but it's sort of moved up to date with today's technology, although it is carbureted, not fuel injected, because I believe in fixing them with screwdrivers and hammers if you have to. You ain't joking, man. Yeah. You can fix it on the road if you have to. If you have to. It's only broken down once when it was brand new with 200 miles on it. It's got 9,000 miles on this system now, trouble free. Really? And it's carbureted, not injected. But it does have an overdrive transmission, so right. it'll get around 23 miles to the gallon on the road. Oh, that's not bad at all. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Now, which motor does it have? It's a 454 General Motors crate. The original 425 motor is home on our engine stand. Right. You don't want to put no motor miles on it if you don't have to. And this one you can drive. This one you can drive. Hydraulic lifter camshaft. It does scoot pretty good. It runs right. almost as good as the old one did, but yeah. plenty of power. Well, and like you said, you can put that modern gas in there and you ain't going to tear nothing up. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, you know, back in the day, you could buy this car for 4000 bucks with a big thing. <laughs> you probably Not no more. bumpers now. You can't get the bumpers for that. Now, how long you had it, man? I've had it since 99. Uh, Okay, so you've, had, so you've been like a good long-term owner. Yeah, we bought it in a basket, put it together. It was painted, of course, when we bought it. The reason I bought it was for the paint job. It looked nice back then. And right. We did a lot of chrome work on it. It did win Good Guys Nationals in 04, so it does have a pedigree behind it. And okay. uh, everybody wants to know if it's for sale, and no, it's not. <laughs> Now, what's the suspension like now? Is that all factory? It's all factory, but it does have a new mono leaf uh, fiberglass rear spring okay. on it. Okay, take some of that bounce out of it. Yeah, with adjustable rear shocks. It's a uh, it's a 336 posi gear. Uh, okay. The front springs are big block springs. Uh, tires are BFGs, nostalgia type tires, and it does have the uh, original Corvette wheels on it, but I had them chrome plated. I'm from West Virginia. Hey, it's okay, man. I like, I like we like chrome. chrome. <laughs> now, my dad had the 64. Uh -huh. All right, with the 427. And I'm going to tell you, man, it beat us to de death. Yeah. That car was a hard ride. You had to hold on to the sides of the seats, and it still felt like it beat you to death. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now does, is, it, uh, is this one like that? No, it's not because, see, the thing about it, what helps these cars a lot, I think, are radial tires on them. Yeah. We didn't have, we just had biased tires back then and strong springs and all that. Man, and, and it uh, just bounced so hard. It yeah. was such a hard car, it seemed like. Yeah, this, uh, now this doesn't ride like a new car, okay? No, it's no. 45 years old. That's what I'm saying. But it cruises really nice down the okay. road. Even on rough roads, it's not too bad. Man, I remember it was a white knuckle car in my family, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dad get loose in that thing. It was it was a four speed and it was it was it was a handful. Yeah, yeah. They made some real high performance cars back then. They still do today, but back then you had to drive them. They was funner to drive yeah. too, man. You had to drive them, you know. So, uh, so this one ain't even for sale. This is all fun, ain't it? It's all fun. Me and the wife just love this thing. We'll take a cruising on weekends and buy ice cream with it or take it to car shows. We're from Columbus. We love doing this Dayton show because these guys really know how to put on a show. It's a real show. And what you got here is a good blend of everything nostalgia well, in the way of automotive and motorcycles too. Sometimes you go to a show and I'm not knocking the Who Foodie shows. But you know, you get tired of looking at Maseratis after a while. <laughs> yeah. You know, give me a couple muscle cars, something, I can say, ooh, my dad used to have one of those. Yeah, Americana. You yeah, know, man. It's just American muscle. And if you look at some of these older American cars, they were the precursor of these, these middle generation muscle yeah. cars. And of course, yeah. now you're out there with all this new technology and yeah. stuff. My God, it just blows your mind what they're building now. Man, when we was kids, if we had a V8 headers and a four barrel, we was set. That was it. That's all we needed. Yeah, and then at night you snuck out there and took the mufflers off your dad's car and drove it around the block. There you go, the man. Caps, went to the drag strip. There you go. Hit some people back. in the trunk. Yeah, <laughs> put it all back together before you brought it home. That's and right, man. The shoe polish off the That's window. right. That's right. It, it's a regular car, Dad. Don't yeah, worry. Honest. 
list. What's that trophy in the back seat? Oh, never mind. Now, I heard you had some bikes. Uh, we got a couple here today. A friend of mine and I were showing a couple of Triumphs and some JBKs, all back from that era. Now, I love you know? Triumphs. Yeah, Triumphs are a neat machine. They are. They are. And they're a simple bike. Well, they are because they're made like watches. The engine in that Triumph, everything is in there from the oil pump to what have you, push rods and all that. And it's all this big. Encapsulated yeah, in something just very compactly. They're made. wonderful. Little, they're wonderful little bikes, man. Yeah. I've been a, been an enthusiast for years. Yeah. Then the Japanese came along in the '60s and changed all that. Just re and, and turned it into a form of transportation. Yeah, exactly. You know, which is okay, but yeah. but that's not what it's always about. Yeah, they don't thump they're no. like the old ones. No. They thump the Harleys and the Triumphs and the Nortons. Mo Indians. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Now you're talking motorcycles. Now you got a motorcycle, man. <laughs> yeah. th see, now that wasn't hard, was it? No. Oh, I liked it. I had fun. All right, man. Thanks for cruising with E-Rider. No problem. And uh, take care of this old vet, man. I will. I will. Nice meeting you. We'll come to some of your shows. Thank you, man. Most of them are in Dayton and stuff. They are, man. All right. We'll come around sometime. Now, now I'll tell you what. Now, next August, the second week of August, we do a big car show for Children's Medical Center. Oh, great. Okay. We come up and see us. Okay. I'll be glad to. All right, brother. Everything everything for the kids. We love doing that. Uh, every year. We've been doing it for 10 years. Okay. okay. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. All right, Dave, tell me about it. This is a 1950 Martin Stationette. It's one of one. It belongs to the Lane Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. Really? We have all three of the Martin production cars. Uh, they built three cars, two of aluminum, this one of wood, uh, in hopes of going into production and never happened for any of them. Man, it's a cool little car. We filmed some of, the, uh, of it up front. How long has the museum had it? Uh, we've had it since about 2004. I'll follow you. Restored in 2007. Really? We showed at Amelia uh, Island first, and it's been to, uh, I think, Hilton Head since. Do you have your congratulations? There, there, there. Yeah, I see it right there. You don't even know uh, what that number says. Okay, because that's the order we're going to move. We're going now, then. Uh, it looks, uh, the Woody's, it looks like, maybe. Oh, you're the Woody's of Class 64, but uh, a couple of guys down here getting you ready, but don't need to know your number. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Keep cruising with E-Rider. We'll have you on the show. How about that? You'll be on the show, man. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. Hi, guys. Wasn't that easy? Oh, this is nice. Red Zone Motorsports is the name you need in auto restoration, from the smallest detail to complete restoration. We see our mission to preserve American automotive history. Our goal is to build a relationship with our customer and watch their dream car come to life. A staff with the knowledge you need and experience you're looking for. Midwest Muffler Pros is the shop you have been looking for. The home of top-end custom exhaust systems with a fully trained staff for any mechanical issue from brakes to the check engine light. Locally owned and conveniently located just off I-75 at 3061 Dryden Road. Call today to make an appointment at 937-293-2450. That's Midwest Muffler Pro. I love my ride, but not just any bike. It has to be a sporty strike. Great looking and super stable, just the way I like them. Don't forget, bike storage available to keep your ride dry and warm. That's Sporty Strikes and Bikes at 7426 North 60 Drive, Dayton, Ohio. Wayne Gorby Transmission, automatic and manual transmission specialist, experienced staff, attention to detail, foreign and domestic transmissions. Wayne Gorby Transmission, Automatic and Manual Transmission Specialist. 
118 North Broad Street, Fairborn, Ohio. 879-4754. That's Wayne Gorby Transmission. Carl's Body Shop can fix any maker model vehicle and have been doing so for over 75 years at the same location on Wayne Avenue. We have a great service department to take care of all your mechanical needs. 24-hour towing, detailing, much, much more. This is on the web at carlsbodyshop.com. This is the home of Hot Rod Chrome, Metal Bright, in business since 1973. Specializing in chrome plating, metal polishing, powder coating, molding restoration, and die cast metal repair. Located at 2445 Net Road in Dayton, Ohio. Metal Bright, the home of Hot Rod Chrome. All right, now, Bill, we've had you on the show before with that cool motorcycle you had. All right, what's the deal on this? Well, this is a 1955 Corvette. Uh, it's the first series. They started in 53. Right. And 53, 54, and 55 were basically all the same. They were all handmade. There were no mold juice on these cars or nothing. They were all made on tabletops. Ford Thunderbird was actually taking over the market, kind of putting the pressure on Corvette back in the 50s. And GM decided to build this V8 motor to compete with the Ford Thunderbird, and I happen to have one of those first motors. Um, they only built 700 cars in 55, and this was car number 100. Oh, God. And um, they thank, thank you to Ford, they decided to go the other route and go to the four-seater and open the door and kept the Corvette trend going which that's why we have them all today. They probably wouldn't be here today if that wouldn't happen. But this was the start of it right here. So now this body looks a little different. I mean, you say it's not customary? It's all stock all the way. Everything, all numbers match, everything on it. This is exactly the way they were built, everything. Oh, it is too cool. So how did you get it, man? Well, it was given to me by a friend. Okay. So, God, we need friends like that, man. Uh, he passed away. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that's kind of how I ended up with it. So, so somebody want, knew you take care of it. Yeah, he kind of knew I'd take care of it and enjoy it, showing it and doing stuff, so that's why I ended up with it. Okay, now have you had to do much to it? No, not much at all. A couple of, you know, uh, just normal maintenance things or little things that go wrong, but it was just this way when I got it, so. Now, tell me you drive it a little bit. I do drive it. I drive it to most shows anywhere that's within reason. Right. Like today for the concourse, I was unable to drive it because I brought my motorcycle too. So I had to put it in the trailer with my motorcycle. Well, this is the concourse too, man. You're a little dirt shy at this <laughs> show, you know. Nobody wants a dirty car here. No, no. So it's kind of just it's the history of it. It's, it's fun to have. I get a lot of attention. And a lot of people like to ask the questions about stuff, want to know things. They say, See, I'm becoming a fan of yours, man. I like your bike a lot. Now I like your car. <laughs> well, good job, man. You got good taste. Well, thank you very much. All right, brother. Thanks so much for being on the show. I really appreciate you. Keep cruising with E-Rider. And you got anything else in at home we're gonna see? I can't tell you that right now. All right, we'll see. <laughs> we'll find that out next year. Yeah, there you go. See you, brother. Thank you. Bye. here at Carl's Body Shop. Man, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at, this UV product. Okay, um, first of all, welcome back to Carl's. Carl's Body Shop. And uh, here we are. This is a UV flash and fill primer. This primer requires no catalyst. All you do is mix it, spray it, put a UV light on it. Oh, it, okay, it so it. it sets with UV light. Right, it doesn't use a catalyst. So there, there's, do you thin it? No. Really? Everything straight out of the can, straight in the gun. So I pour that straight into the gun. Yep, and when you're done, whatever you don't use, you can put back in the can. Now, you know, that sounds similar almost like what the dentist does with you with the UV light. Kind of similar. Yeah. It seems like it. Okay, all right. So now, is it a superior product? Uh, it does the same job. Okay. It's, just, it's faster. It's and, faster. Uh, and they eliminated the catalyst. Okay. So less, and less. that catalyst is where all the nasty stuff yeah, is. That's, that's right. That's where 90% all your cancer-causing agents are. Okay. All right. So if we come down here to Carl's and we want our, our paint job done, 
What would be the advantages of UV materials? Well, UV materials, they're Does more it help more you about, or does it help me? Well, no, these are, these are, right now, they're using them more for the fast in and out if you have to turn something around quickly. You can UV this and sand on it in five minutes. Oh my God, okay. so you mean I can spray the fender yep. and you put the lights on it yep. and it's done? Five minutes time. Oh, that's Sandy. crazy. So it's cured all the Is way it through. ready to paint after that? Yeah. Wow. Sand it, tape it up, paint it. That's nuts. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a good product. All right. So what else have we got sitting over here? Well, what else they have is with everybody having plastic headlights, you know, the headlights turn yellow. Oh, man, terrible. So, yeah. What you can do is you can sand that coating off of your, off of your headlights and clean it with a cleaning solution. Right. All right, they've got a restoration spray coating. Put two oh. coats of that on there. Again, it has no catalyst. This is a UV product. So you would take that, spray it on there, put UV lights on it, and now is there that you something are. is that something I could get done down here at Carl's? Absolutely. Sure, we we do everything. <laughs> well you know, man, because that's super common now. They all oh, look yeah. bad. I mean, yep, and it absolutely. don't take no time for them to look bad. That's the craziest oh, no. thing. No, even newer cars. Yeah, a couple yep. years, man, and it's already all kind of yellowy absolutely. and grimed out. Yeah, and the headlight is, uh, you know, well, headlights are... That boy is the ultimate resource for wheels, tires, and service for your vehicle. Conveniently located at 3050 Springboro Pike with a full service center and a huge selection of wheels and rims and lift accessories for your vehicle. With over 30 years of experience, that's Bat Boy 37 I'm Christina of Burton Antique Auto Parts in Dayton, Ohio. We specialize in manufacturing and finding rare and custom parts for your classic Ford. All of our parts are made of the best materials available. Go online to view a full catalog of all the parts we make for your classic Ford. Or call me on our toll free line 1-877-277-6753. Chris's Carb Shop, family owned with 13 years experience, specializing in hot rods, fuel injection, and late model fuel systems, with a huge selection of vintage carburetor cores and hard to find fuel systems. Fill all your fuel system needs at Chris's Carb Shop, located at 7718 North Main Street in Dayton, Ohio. Carl's Body Shop can fix any maker model vehicle and have been doing so for over 75 years at the same location on Wayne Avenue. We have a great service department to take care of all your mechanical needs, 24-hour towing, detailing, much, much more. Visit on the web at carlsbodyshop.com. Cylinder Head and Block Service has been providing quality machine work since 1980. Located at 412 Market Street in Brickville, Ohio. Whether it's a numbers matching restoration, muscle car, street rod, or everyday vehicle, we can build your engine the way you want it built. So when you're ready to tackle your next engine project, call Cylinder Head and Block Service, 937-833-5557, where quality is standard. Rhonda's Homemade Candy, the area's finest homemade candy, made in small batches, available in unique flavors, natural ingredients. Be sure to try our one-of-a-kind Buckeyes, our fabulous fudge, and our hand-dipped candies. All orders are shipped free. Please visit our website to see our incredible selection of candies to order from, or call 937-286-2731. Be sure to friend us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's Rhonda's Homemade Candy. Two, three hundred dollars. And it ruins Some are more. it ruins the look of the car. It does. Well no, you does. see see I've had tons of my friends talk about UV equipment for their car, you know. And I didn't know if it was a protector for the pain or I had no idea what it was. I didn't know that it was like the dentist stuff that it sets up when you put some oh, light on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's crazy. Generally all paint related paint refinish type products. Now does it hold up longer? 
Is it a superior it's product? All comparable. It's a comparable product. Okay. This is this is coming in, and the so, old the stuff that used Catalyst is going out. Yeah, because I mean, so like, it's just a replacement product. In the old days, you know, you buy the gallon of primer, you, you, you buy the uh, the thinner to go with it, right? And, and, and some Catalyst on some of the stuff. So right. all that's different now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is it hard to use this changing. UV stuff? I mean, no, it's the same. Huh. You know, cleanup is actually easier because there is no catalyst in it. Right. So as long and as it you stays don't good in the light, cup, as long as yeah, you don't. as long as you don't. As long as it ain't a clear cup and you got it out in the sunshine, you're all right. Well, that's crazy. So now, is it as expensive as I think it is? Oh yeah, it's probably high right, dollar yeah, stuff. That's three hundred dollars right there for, one, for that for that for little bitty quart. cup. But you know but you're you, not buying hardener. You're not buying hardener. You no, know, and and when it's mandated that you use a non-catalyst product, right? It's going to be the only thing you can use. Right, and so it's physically the industry safer. Industry is all changing. Yes, and it's, it's physically it's a safer, safer product. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. Have you used a lot of it, man? No. No, we really. I know because it's new. The, well, the, the, it all. It's, it's, that's why we're doing this segment it's, because it's new, you know. And, and um, that's why I'm down here talking to you because I knew you would know. I had a couple guys ask me, and I really, I hate to say I was silly, but I had no idea. It's like UV watt primers and oh, stuff. Yeah. They've got UV primers, and let me get some of this. Sure. Now, does this extend completely into paint and everything? Yep. Yeah. Now, in your in your glass or paint line. They take that all the way into doing the clear system too. Oh wow! So, glazer, it's so now, really good stuff. So if I've got my I've got my UV primer hardened, and I paint the car with this UV stuff, is it like ready to drive in like the same short amount of time? I mean, is it done? Is it cured out and hard? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's nuts. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's all it's all ready to go. So are big um, manufacturers using this stuff to get their stuff out fast? This, this well, yeah. This product, well, like dealerships and stuff, where it's a real, real short turnaround time. Yeah, time like constraint. That. Yeah. This stuff will give you the same thing as a catalyzed product would, sitting overnight. Oh, every bit of it, man. Yeah, so it's it's you know it's fast. So if I sprayed that job. stuff and it was all hard. Would I be able to like wet sand it the next day? Yeah. Oh, that is nuts! Any, you could oh, I love it. that. You could wet sand it in 15 minutes. In 15 you know? minutes. Yeah. That's. Now, yeah, did five you have to go? Flash, knock it down with some heavy paper, and then wet sand it out with some fine paper. Sure, you could do that. Did you have to take any classes to use this stuff? I or? go every every two years. So do you just to stay for fresh? A recertification. They yeah. change it so fast. Absolutely. Macy, I knew you were the guy. And to even ask. even when you're gone and come back. Yeah. Things have changed. Oh, man, even, I know. Even in a short period of time, like two years, things change. Man, stuff you know. changes. I just, I talked to a buddy of mine this morning and found out that the new Freon is going away. We're going to yeah. start using yeah. the European stuff. They've got a replacement for it. Yeah. So yeah. all those cars that had this, that, what was it, the, uh, the 12? Right, 12 is gone. 12 is gone. 130, what was 134? 134 it's, is gone. It's gone. Yeah. It just keeps changing. And they did the same thing with uh, residential. I know. Yeah. You know, it's man, like I said, that is why I came down here to talk to you. Thank I you. always know that you know that stuff. Well, we try to stay up on it. You do, man. A valuable resource. So, is there anything else you'd like to add to this segment except that? You can find all this great stuff well, down here at Carl's. Well, yes, you, you know, we, we, we do anything down here. But the, the thing I would like to follow up that even if you're using the newest products, you would still want to clean the car, wax the car, okay. and take care of it, you know, polish the car. Is there it, different get stuff? Get detail once a year, like right before winter is a good time. Oh my God, I know. Things like that. Well, yeah, th there's a good question. What's the best way, let's see, I I've come down here and I've got this beautiful paint job you guys put on. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be out in the weather all winter, here and there. What's the best way to protect it? Well, you're gonna wanna clean it thoroughly and you're gonna wanna, wanna put wax on it. 
So, you, so, so wax, just what? like the old days, still very, wax oh, is yeah, the, still the to, best thing. Yeah, yeah just clear coat. Clear coat's no different than old paint. It's, there's still okay. holes through it. Right. They're microscopic, but still has holes. Even right. though a car's clear coated, it needs to be waxed. And that wax just seals so up all them little bitty holes. seals up the pores and keeps, keeps the nasty stuff from going down in. Man, thank you for bringing me up today. I had fallen behind again. Okay, I don't well. take those classes on, on all this fancy stuff. Well, that's why we're here for you, Ray. Thank you, man. Thanks for being on Cruise with the Rider. And if you guys need anything else, always come down here to Carl's Body Shop. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ray Sloan of Cruising with E-Rider. If you'd like to see past episodes of E-Rider, go to our website, which is eridertv.weebly.com. You can see one-of-a-kind videos there. You can see pictures from shows we've been to, all kinds of stuff. You can also find us on Facebook and on YouTube. So, keep cruising with E-Rider, get your cars out, and keep cruising.